Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Now we are finally going to start preparing the data so that our machine learning models run correctly. And the first problem that we have to deal with is the case where you have some missing data in your data set. And that happens quite a lot actually in real life. So you have to get the trick to handle this problem and make it all good for your machine learning model to run correctly. So let's have a look at the data set. Here I'm going to my uh, Google Sheets tab. Okay, so here is the data set. And as you can see, there is two missing data. There is one missing data in the age column here for Spain and one missing data in the salary column for Germany. So how can we handle this problem? Well, a first idea is to remove the lines, the observations, where there is some missing data. So what we could do is to remove this line and remove this line. But that can be quite dangerous because imagine this data set contains crucial information. It would be quite dangerous to remove an observation. So we need to figure out a better idea to uh, handle this problem. And another idea, and that's actually the most common idea to uh, handle missing data, is to take the mean of the columns. So here, we are going to replace this missing data here by the mean of all the values in the column age. And that's the same for every feature that contains missing data. We replace this missing data by the mean of the values in the column that contains this missing data. Okay, so let's do this. First, we need to take our data set. So data set. Let's start by taking care of the missing value in the age column. So here we will need to take the age column and to do this in R, we need to add a dollar sign here and here we choose age. So by doing that, dataset dollar age, we're taking the column age of the dataset. Then we're going to add equals and then we're going to add an if else. So I'm going to type if else here, then parenthesis. In the if else function, you have to input three parameters. The first parameter is your condition, if condition. The second parameter is the value you want to input if the condition is true. And the second parameter is the value you want to input if the condition is false. So let's first input the condition. The condition is going to be is dot na parenthesis data set dollar age. And that's it. Is na is a function that tells if the value in the function is missing or not. So by putting is na data set dollar age, we are checking to see if all the values in the column age are missing. So this will return true if the value in the column age is missing and false if the value in the column age is not missing. Okay, so that's the condition. And now the second parameter is the value that is going to be returned if the condition above is true. And of course, if the condition is true, that means that there is a missing value and that means that we have to replace it with the average. So here we're going to input as a second parameter the average of the column age. Okay, and to compute the average in R, there is a simple way. We can type AVE, then dataset, dollar sign age, because we want to take the column age, then comma. And then here we're going to add a function. So we're going to type fun in capitals, fun equals, then function, then function x, this is still part of the R syntax. We're just making a function here, which is going to be the mean function. And then we have to specify what this function will be. And so this function is, of course, the mean, which is an existing function in R. So here, parenthesis, x, comma. And here we're just going to add na dot rm equals true. And that means that we ask and that means that we ask R to include the missing values when R will go through the whole column age to compute the mean of the values. Now we still need to close the parenthesis here. Okay, and then comma. So that's it for the second parameter. And now we need to add the third parameter. And in your opinion, what is it going to be? Well, this third parameter is the value you want to return if the first condition is not true. That means that the value in the column age is not missing. So that means that the value exists. So here we are simply going to put data set age. Okay, and that's done. By typing this, we replace the missing value in the column age by the mean of the column age itself. So let's select this and let's see what happens. So command and control plus enter to execute. And here it is, it executed properly. 
And now let's look at our data set by clicking on this tab here. And good, perfect, the missing value that was here in the age column was replaced by the mean of the column. Great. So now let's do the same for the salary. So we're just going to copy this, paste, and we're just going to replace age by the salary here, here as well, here as well, and also here. Great. And now we have to be careful with something. It, it has to be aligned here. So we just have to do this and same for here. This. Okay. And now we're fine. Now we're ready to select this code section here. Press command or control plus enter to execute. Here it is. Let's check our data set. And perfect. The missing value in the salary that was here was replaced by the mean of the salary column, $63,777. Okay, perfect. Congratulations. Now you know how to take care of missing data in both Python and R. That's the end of this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. The next tutorial will be about categorical data. So we will learn how to encode categorical data. You will understand why we have to do this. So I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. And until then, enjoy machine learning.